hey goodies welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new if you haven't already joined the goodie gang definitely go ahead and hit that subscribe button but today i'm just gonna be vlogging my process of how i pack up an entire room because for those of you who don't know i am going abroad next semester in paris so i need to take everything that i've brought up here back home and i travel by plane so this is just going to show you how i make a lot of stuff fit into tiny spaces so just stay tuned also, before I completely deconstruct my entire room, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what it looks like now. I'm gonna go ahead and put all my clothes on my bed. I like to start with taking everything out of my closet and everything out of my drawers. And I have drawers underneath my bed as well so that I can see all the clothes that I have. And then I put all my clothes into one suitcase. And if it overflows into another one, not a problem. Um, and then my second order of business after getting everything out of my closet, like my clothes, is I'll pack my shoes and some of my decorational items. So like my framed photos, um, my Himalayan salt lamp, wax warmer, also these are great. And then for another suitcase, I like to have all of my bedding in one suitcase. And I usually just wait till I go home, honestly, to wash all of these because I like for my stuff to air dry and my room is not big enough for all of that. And then anything that's just miscellaneous, I probably will give to some of my friends like toiletries and anything else that might just need to be thrown out or donated. So we're gonna go ahead and do all that. I'm gonna finish folding my clothes because I got some more from the dryer. And then I'm gonna go ahead, pack all that stuff up in that order. So clothes, decorations, miscellaneous. Okay, so pro tip, I roll my clothes, if that makes any sense. These are just socks, so disregard that. But I tend to roll my clothes. It's a method that I think they do in the army, question mark. Don't quote me on it. But it also keeps my clothes from wrinkling which I really like. And I just uh, I just did laundry, so I needed to fold it up. But yeah, that's one way to make more fit into a smaller space. Pero. Do you want to be in my vlog? <laughs> yeah. Do you see me right now? Do you see me? You look so pretty. Oh my god. <laughs> Is anyone else having coffee? No. Are you having coffee? Coffee. <laughs> a hot flash. <laughs> no, no. Yeah, I'm vlogging. Do you want to be in it? Yeah. Yay! This is one of my roommates. The other one. You don't look bad. My other roommate doesn't want to be in it. She's over there like <laughs> in the back. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie to you guys. I hit like well, I have a tear. <laughs> That's how you know the naps were good. I had like three rounds of unexpected REM sleep and the time is now six. So I'm just getting up, <laughs> but back to packing we go.
So what I do is I just grab a bag like this and I put my hair stuff in there just to move it out of the way and other toiletries out of the wire baskets that I usually store them in um, just outside of it so that I can put the storage stuff away and then I will deal with everything later but I usually try to time when I buy toiletries so that they run out by the end of the semester and it looks like I did a pretty good job. Okay, hey guys, so it's the next day. My voice is a little low because my roommate's still asleep, but I don't have much to really pack. I'll show you guys what I have left. Um, essentially, what I've done already is taken everything off the walls, minus the LED lights, because I need a tall friend to come help me take those down. <laughs> and then I just need to take my bed stuff off all my bedding and put them into a suitcase and then i just have like a box of toiletries here and on the windowsill like my hair products and stuff what i tend to do is i get like saran wrap i didn't have saran wrap so i just broke up um little ziploc bags so i'm gonna take the plastic and cover them on the lid and then put the lid on top of the oils and stuff that i use so that they don't just spill when i'm on the plane just extra protection so that that's all that stuff and then in my closet, pretty much done. I put the hangers and whatnot in my bag. Those are the shoes that I'm wearing today. Those I'm throwing away. I've had them for years and they're my darty shoes. And then those are just gifts and whatnot. And then these big bins down here, I'm going to recycle because no one wants them and I can't take them with me, sadly. So yeah, and everything else I just need to recycle and miscellaneous, but I'll be done in two shakes of a lamb's tail. So just so y'all can see what I was talking about with the little plastic, I basically put the little plastic, you can see it here, I hope, and then you just put it on top of the opening of your lid or whatever like so and then you just twist the cap on top and then that stops the oils usually from coming out but then on top of that i also put all my oily stuff into a ziploc bag on its own like this it's like double protection because i don't want my oils to you know come out and ruin my clothes that would really put me in a really bad mood so pro tip <laughs> 